in the month of June of 2008, we, the American people, drove 12.2 billion less miles than we did in June of 2007. And the reason we drove less miles is because the cost of gasoline at the pump was $4 plus at the pump, where it caused people to make different decisions about driving patterns. So if you listen to the candidates talk, they're lamenting for the poor American people that gas prices are so high. So here's a radical idea for you, for the new president. We should institute a floating federal tax on gasoline. Actually, we should institute a carbon tax that we negotiate and get every other country in the world to agree to. That's not, hard, that's not easy to do. But we need a carbon tax that will effectively cause the market to improve efficiency of energy and reduce the carbon insult that we're putting into the atmosphere every day. So we should institute a policy tax that will effectively keep gasoline price at the pump over $5 a gallon. It'll be hard to find a politician who would tell you that. Even, even though it is actually the right thing to do, I would say one of the characteristics we need in whomever is going to be the president is they tell us the truth whether we like it or not. So here's another thing I believe to be true. Some of this I know for sure, some of it is my opinion. I know this for sure. We have a 10,000 page tax code. I'll tell you a funny story, I think it's funny. When I went to the Treasury, I said to the staff, I want to talk about the tax code and I want to do it in an authoritative, fact-based way so I want to know how many pages exactly are in the tax code. And I said, until you tell me the right number, I'm going to say 10,000 pages. And after a few weeks, they came back to me and said, you know, we know you got that number from looking at the back of the tax code, but what you don't know is the tax code pages are not numbered sequentially, and so we don't really know how, page, how many pages there are in the tax code. So we don't really know, but believe me, it's over 10,000. I assert to you this 10,000-page tax code is a mountain of evidence that we are not an intelligent people. <laughs> no intelligent people would have designed this tax code, and I believe it's important for the new president to make an assault on the stupidity of this tax code, which makes it impossible of enforcement and causes us to spend enormous amounts of money in tax compliance, and arguably, by the best estimates, we're now under-collecting the tax that is arguably due and payable by $400 billion a year. That's a big number, if you can believe it. So I think there's an appoint, a important assignment for a new president to deal with this issue of tax simplification in a way that's real, not not a tissue approach, and to, and I would do it by effectively eliminating all tax credits and all deductions, some of you may not like that, uh, so that we can have a lower tax rate. 